Ghana is free forever. Did you know that Ghana was the first African country to gain independence from colonial rule? Welcome to Open Tierra. Today we explore a country filled with so much to discover. From its colorful traditions to its beautiful landscapes, Ghana has a lot to offer. Stay with us until the end to uncover some amazing secrets about Ghana. Ghana is located in West Africa, bordering the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean. With a total area of 238,535 square kilometers, Ghana is dominated by plains and low hills. However, the country also has a diverse landscape ranging from coastal shorelines to river valleys to lake regions. The Volta River flows through the central and eastern parts of Ghana, providing valuable water resources through features like the massive Lake Volta Reservoir. It also has a tropical climate with temperatures averaging 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Ghana has a diverse ecology including coastlines, rainforests, wetlands and grasslands. Unfortunately, habitats like rainforests have declined due to logging and agriculture. Major environmental issues today include pollution, deforestation, poaching and coastal erosion. Administratively, Guinea is divided into 16 regions containing over 200 districts. Accra serves as the capital and largest city. Other major urban centers include Kumasi, Takoradi, and Tamale. The history of Ghana stretches back to the ancient era, with the rise of early kingdoms and empires. The ancient era saw the development of kingdoms like the Soninka Kingdom of Ghana and the Ashanti Empire, which rose to power through trade and military might. European contact began in the 15th century, when Portuguese traders arrived on the coast. This early contact paved the way for future colonial incursions. The British colonized Ghana in the late 19th century, establishing control over the coastal region. They renamed this area the Gold Coast due to its abundant gold resources. The British expanded into inland territories like Ashanti in the early 20th century after a series of wars. Under colonial rule, the British exploited Ghana's natural resources and exported crops like cocoa. Resistance emerged in the 1920s with rising nationalism and pan-Africanism. Kwama Nkrumah rose as a leading advocate for independence. Ghana finally achieved independence from Britain in 1957 under Nkrumah's leadership. As the first sub-Saharan African nation to gain independence, Ghana became a model for African liberation movements. Nkrumah pursued a socialist political and economic program, investing in infrastructure and education. He promoted pan-Africanist unity and was an influential advocate for a united African continent. His presidency became more authoritarian over time before being overthrown in a coup in 1966. After Nkrumah, Ghana experienced a succession of coups and military regimes. There were concerns about political repression and economic decline. However, in 1992, Ghana transitioned back to democratic rule after adopting a new constitution. Since then, Ghana has seen strong economic growth and development under successive democratic governments. Democratic institutions have been strengthened. However, problems like corruption and income inequality persist. The World Bank estimates Ghana's total population to be about 34 million people. Ghana is home to over 100 ethnic groups, with the major ones being the Akan, Molidagbane, Iwe, and Ga'adangbe. The Akan make up about half the population and include subgroups like the Ashanti and Fante. The Moldagbane of northern Ghana includes tribes like the Dagomba. Southern groups include the Iwe and Ga'adangbe, who inhabit the Volta and Greater Accra regions. Ghana also has small but influential European and Indian minorities. 
Many Ghanaians identify as Christian, reflecting the influence of colonialism and missionary activity. About 70% of the population is Christian, predominantly Protestant, along with some Catholics. Next, about 15 to 20% of Ghanaians follow traditional African. Islam has also established a strong presence here, with about 15% to 17% of the population identifying as Muslim. Ghana recognizes dozens of indigenous languages, but English remains the official language dating back to colonial rule. Local languages fall into six main groups, including Akan, Moldagbane, Ewawe, and Ga Adangbe, aligning with major ethnic groups. The most widely spoken language is Akan, including Twi variants. However, English dominates government, education, and formal contexts. Ghana has one of the most robust and fastest growing economies in Africa. According to the World Bank, the country's GDP is roughly $73 billion as of 2022. Key economic sectors include agriculture, natural resources, industry and services. Agriculture employs about half the workforce, with cocoa, gold, oil and timber exports driving growth. However, the industrial and services sectors are expanding. Ghana has abundant natural resources, including gold, oil, diamonds, manganese and bauxite. Gold mining and cocoa production have been major historical pillars of the economy. Oil was discovered offshore in 2007, boosting tax revenues and exports. However, dependence on commodities has made the country vulnerable to price shocks. In recent decades, Ghana has pursued market reforms with relatively high GDP growth compared to the regional average. Services account for half of GDP today. However, challenges like inflation, debt and youth unemployment persist. Poverty reduction has been uneven across geographic and demographic lines. Ghana is a country rich in cultural heritage, from its vibrant artistic traditions to its cherished rituals and customs. Ghanaian culture is a source of great pride and identity for its people. Its main ethnic groups each have their own unique cultural practices and belief systems as well. However, a national Ghanaian identity has emerged while still celebrating diversity. Respect for one's community and ancestors is an essential part of Ghanaian values. Ghana has an acclaimed artistic tradition spanning music, theatre, literature and the visual arts. Renowned artists include master drummer Mustafa Tete, Adi, and Kente cloth weaver Gilbert Bobo Ahiabl. The novelists Ayikwe Arma and Ama Atta Aidu have achieved international acclaim. From its captivating arts and attire to its strong sense of identity, Ghanaian culture is a vibrant and integral part of life in Ghana. The country takes pride in its diversity while maintaining the connection to its traditions and ancestors. Ghanaian culture continues to inspire and bring people together. The cuisine of Ghana is delicious, diverse and steeped in tradition. From flavorful stews to hearty staples, Ghanaian food draws from various influences to create its iconic dishes. Cocoa is a type of porridge made from fermented corndo. It has a smooth, pudding-like texture and a subtle sour taste. Kusi are donut-style fritters made from bean flour. Cocoa and kous are often served together for breakfast or as a snack. The sweetness of the fried kous contrasts nicely with the savory cocoa porridge. Banku is a staple dough made from fermented corn and cassava. It has a thick, stretchy texture. Banku is commonly served with various soup stews and meats or fish. It soaks up the rich flavors of soups, like palm nut soup or groundnut soup. This hearty dish can be found across Ghana. 
wakie is a tasty rice and bean dish. Black-eyed peas or brown beans are cooked until tender. This is mixed with white rice and garnished with vegetables and eggs. Waki is popular as a lunchtime meal. Kokonte is a creamy, earthy dish made from dried cassava flour. The flour is cooked into a thick, smooth porridge with palm oil and seasoning. Kokonte makes a comforting and savory meal when accompanied by meat or fish pepper sauce. It is a staple comfort food. From jollof rice to kelawili plantains, there are many more delicious Ghanaian dishes to explore. The creativity and traditions of Ghanaian cuisine result in some of the most comforting, flavorful African foods you can enjoy. If you enjoyed this video on Ghana, you'll love this next one.